Hi YouTube, it's your girl Sheila J and I'm not gonna lie, I was not feeling like doing a video today but I decided to grace you guys with my presence anyway despite how I'm feeling because I realize I still have to show up regardless of how I'm feeling or whatever the case may be. So today's video I just really wanted to come on here and talk about what it means to force your reality into existence and what it means to take inspired action and I'm going to give you two different examples so I can let you know exactly what what's what because I feel like a lot of people confuse the inspired action with forcing things and those are two different completely complete things so I just wanted to quickly just give you two different examples of what inspired action is and what forcing something looks like um you'll know when you are supposed to take inspired action you'll just know you'll know when something is right for you you'll also know like if you've been affirming for something for a really long time you'll know when you have to take inspired action you'll know when you're being moved to bring you what you want you will know because you will feel calm you will feel good about whatever it is that you're about to do. As long as you, when you feel fo like you're about to force something, you're gonna, your gut is telling you're fighting with yourself. It always feels like you're fighting yourself. It always feels like it's not right. If it does not feel right, listen to what it's telling you because that means you're not supposed to do it. And I know this from example. Okay, an example of this would be when I had four three years ago i had bought a car i didn't want the car that i bought and the dealership wanted me to put five thousand dollars down on the car first of all it was a car i didn't even want i didn't like it i didn't want it i didn't want it period i knew i didn't want it but outside forces told me to get it but i knew in my heart like overall i knew that this was not the car for me i knew that this like, it just, it didn't feel right. But at that time, I wasn't so, I wasn't at the level that I am now. So I didn't listen to what my instincts were telling me. Even though I knew in my heart that this wasn't right for me, I still went ahead and listened to what everybody else was telling me. And in doing so, a week after I got that car, I sprained my ankle, which was the universe telling me hey, you shouldn't have got the car because if I hadn't been at the place in which I had been at that time, if I didn't get the car, I wouldn't have been in the place I was at that right, at that given time. And if I did was in that place, it, yeah, things just didn't align up. And then shortly after me spraining my ankle, I wasn't able to work and things just kind of took a toll because I didn't listen to what I knew was not right. I forced myself to get a car that I knew in my heart I truly did not want. So that's how you know when something isn't for you. You like things just if it does if it just gives you a cringe feeling like hey I shouldn't do this I don't want to do this but you still feel like you're forcing it and you get what you want but it still doesn't make you happy. It, don't do it. Just don't. And. When, as you guys know, according to my other video, my uh, my video about how I manifested my car that I'll link up here. Um, as you guys know, I manifested another car. I was inspired to get my car. That month, there was a Monday. I literally, Monday, had this idea. Okay, I need to get a car. I went at almost 7 o'clock at night when dealerships were about to close. To go look for a car because I needed a car, but I took inspired action. I started affirming for the car. I started, I said, I love my new car. I was affirming for it. I didn't know how I was getting this car. I have a repossession on my credit. How the hell am I getting a car? But I said, no, I'm still going to get it. Everything always goes in my favor. I always get what I want. I kept on persisting. I affirmed for it. I didn't test drive my car, but I knew it was mine. I just knew in my heart that that car was mine when I finally 
got it. Yes, there was all these different circumstances against me with getting, in terms of me getting the car, but did it stop me? No. But did I feel good after that? Yes, I did. After I got the car, I felt amazing. And that is how you're supposed to feel when it comes to taking inspired action on whatever it is that you want. If you feel like you, if the, if you have this nudge and this really good feeling and this feeling like, hey, okay, I should do this, do it. Because that usually means that you are being moved to bring you closer to what you are manifesting. And as your journey, on your little journey, you're going to want to listen to what your intuition is telling you. And if your intuition is telling you this is for you, keep persisting in what it is. Keep affirming for what it is. Don't let outside forces and don't let outside people dictate you and tell you, hey, I think you should get this. Hey, I think you should do this. No, you are the only person that can tell you what you want. You are the only person that can decide what it is that you want, period. No one else can tell you that. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot have what you want. So if it feels good to, for you, keep doing it. If it feels good to you, get it. If you are going to take inspired action on something, make sure it feels good. Make sure it feels right. Because if it does not feel right, you will regret it. You will regret it in the long run. Because I just gave you two very distinct, very different situations on where I was forcing it, something to happen. And I was forced to do something. And where I was at peace and I was inspired to do it. And I haven't sprained my ankle. Nothing that bad has happened. I've been good, I've been working, I've been doing what I have to do and all this extra stuff. So that's how I know what the difference is. And if it wasn't for that first car situation, I wouldn't know what it feels like to take inspired action again. You need to, your journey, whether it's good or bad, it's going to show you what, hey, what do I need to do? Where, where do I, what do I need to do next to get to what I want. Be centered. Be still. Understand that nothing is going to just come right now. Yes, you want it to come right now, but understand that you need to trust, learn how to trust your intuition and learn to just flow with everything. Don't force it. Flow. So I hope that makes sense. I don't want to give too much in one video. There probably be more. Um, but that's all the video that that's all for today's video that's what i just wanted to come on here and quickly say so thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like comment and subscribe button because you know yours truly you know, is trying to get to 2000 subscribers so thank you for watching i love you guys i appreciate you guys don't forget to comment below what are your thoughts and thank you for watching if you watch the entire video Love ya!